Beth is going to come and talk about what she's doing to promote how to make money. Right now. Right now, yes. <laughs> You're welcome. Talk closer to the mic. Mic closer. Okay. My real name is Harriet Hunter. God, I feel like I'm eating it. You do. You feel like you have to eat it. You almost have to. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's me. Anyway, that's me. My book is a 365-day inspirational with a focus on recovery, and it can be any 12-step recovery. For the most part, this focuses on drug addiction and alcohol addiction, but it'll, it'll cover every living, breathing situation we go through each day uh, and, and we have to deal with. And um, so I loved writing it. Writing it, I, I wish I could still write uh, another book just like this one instead of having to do all this marketing, because this marketing is a humongous amount of work. I spend probably five to six hours a day, almost seven days a week, doing marketing. And by marketing, for instance, social media, I'm, uh, I'm on Facebook, I'm just learning how to get on Instagram. I don't know, Instagram doesn't like me. <laughs> Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, I'm on for sure, Reddit. Um, I belong to another group called allauthor.com. They're a wonderful group. They've done a lot for me insofar as publishing goes. Um, I'm selling on Amazon. I have my own author page, and I'm selling in <coughs> Japan and Europe, uh, Deutschland. Pretty much wherever Amazon goes, that I'm there also. Um, I have an ebook in print. I have another ebook right now I'm working on. And this is for the women and men incarcerated. It's, uh, it's called A Daily Reprieve. What can they do while they're incarcerated? Where their feet are? If, you know, if, if people incarcerated want to have a prayer to not go back into those, into those prisons. They have to learn to change and modify their thinking and their perceptions where they are. So that's what this ebook is about. Um, yes, I too hopefully will have my own recovery podcast sometime this year. So I'm working on that. I created 365 audios, individual audios from the pages of my book. I'm really fortunate, um, I'm, I'm so fortunate that I wrote the kind of book that I did. It's, uh, there's a, a quite a long backstory. I won't, bar, I won't bore you with the details, but it just so happens that this book I've learned, somebody said to me, well, you know you wrote an evergreen book. And I'm like, evergreen? I'm living in sunny Florida. I don't understand. What is an evergreen book? And she said, it's the type of book that will never, never lose, uh, lose its momentum. Because there's always going to be somebody out there who needs it, who wants it. So I certainly found that to be true this October, November, and December. My sales were phenomenal. But I, I use Amazon a lot, and let me tell you, anybody can do an ad in Amazon. But if you want the ad to be of maximum effect, it takes a lot of hours, a lot of testing, a lot of up and down money. It's like you're learning to play the stock market, only you're doing it with Amazon ads. And I don't care who you talk to, because I've talked and I've talked to pretty much everybody in that department, plus uh, marketing professionals, and they all will tell you it's uh, it's really 
really kind of just depends, you know? It's, a, it's an up and down uh, scenario where you pick and choose, you try this, if that doesn't work, well then you try this. And you keep going back and forth and watch your sales. And if what you're doing on that one day works, then, well, now you got something. So that's pretty much what it's about. It's, it's extremely time consuming. Uh, I'm paying somebody right now because I don't have the time. I just don't have the time to, uh, to do all this stuff. So somebody's making me a landing page. I do a newsletter for, an, um, for people who opt in to my website. And then in return, I give them um, oh, a lead gen, lead generator it's called. And it's just a, it's a PDF on eight ways to change your perspective. You know, to an, I forgot what it's called exactly, something like that. So I have 250, about 260 um, in this private newsletter and I send out uh, Oh, at least twice a month, if not more, to these folks. I was thinking about doing a recovery group on Facebook, but um, I'm not sure yet. I think I'm just going to do a podcast. And the podcast will be private, and I'll introduce a page once, uh, maybe twice a month, and have people talk about it. You know, how did it, how did it affect them? What were their feelings? What was their takeaway? What did it do for them or not? Um, I also conduct a class when I can. Uh, it's a six week curriculum called Journaling with a Purpose. And I'm gonna be monetizing that sometime this year. That'll be on my, it's on my web also. There's, it, it is absolutely such a, such an ever fluid, moving proposition, marketing. Um, right now, I just sent a pitch letter uh, off to Hazelton, Hazelton, Hazelden, Betty Ford Center to uh, to uh, recovery families and re recovery folks is to Amazon. It's just a huge conglomerate. And hopefully they'll pick up my book, which would be fabulous. So we'll see. I'm working on that and um, just, you know, uh, trying to pitch influencers. Influencers. I'm told I need influencers to help move my book. And what that means, I'm learning, is that anybody can be an influencer so long as they're there to carry the message. So long as they're there to carry your book and help promote your book. So that's what I'm doing. That eats up a lot of time. But, um, you know, it's for a great cause. I love it. It's uh, exciting. And, and, um, and that's what I do in my spare time. When I'm not cleaning my house, taking care of my dogs, having fun, Coming here, thank you for letting me share. Thank you. <laughs>